What's up everyone, it's a very blind chick back on your screen with another one. This is a major TBT. We're going in the archives for this one. I filmed this, what, 14 months ago? It's been a long time. I always told myself we're gonna upload this one day. That day never came until today. I'm gonna share with you what the Oculus is, how it works, and maybe you'll see if it's something that's useful for you on your vision loss journey. This is a video that I filmed as part of another video which I uploaded a year ago about assistive devices and tech. But since I thought I lost this footage, because I delete footage all the time, I didn't include it back then. But I always figured, you know, this is something that would be useful for people to know that's out there. Maybe it'll suit their lifestyle or something they can work and save up towards. So let me know if you think this is something useful. Comment down below, hit the like button, and let's go. Oh wait, before we get into this, I gotta let you know. The quality is abysmal at the best. It's a little shaky cam since this camera is not meant to be used as a handy cam. It needs a tripod. You will see what I'm talking about as we go through this, but please don't mind it. Let's get it's it. recording. Okay. And if it goes out of focus, you can tap on Dr. Drew's like or maybe it'll okay. All right, so what I'm gonna show you now, Alicia, is the 4Cam 2.0. So this one is the intuitive camera system. It's a smart camera that this one is real. And it's an impressive device. It's one of my favorites because this one allows somebody who has any degree of vision loss to be able to access printed material and no faces. So even people who are completely blind can use this device. And in a few moments, I'll even tell you what the new updates will be in the coming months, which will be really impressive as an add-on to what already exists with this device. So what I'm gonna have you do is put on my demo frame. So my demo frame has a little magnetic attachment to the side. This attachment can be put onto most any frame. And so, actually, what I'll, what I'll first do is I'll put the or camera around your neck. And if I now attach it to the side, it's going to attach with a magnet. So I just said my name if you pick that up. And my face. That's is, pretty cool that it identifies you. Yeah, my face has been saved. Um, on this device, and you can save up to a hundred faces on it. I normally have it where it's on an auto setting, so when I was actually putting it on, I accidentally tapped the side, so it took a picture of me and it picked me up. But my patients who use it, it's normally set at auto, so as soon as you would have put it on, it would have told you who it was. And you can actually uh, designate how often it repeats a person. So if you're still in the same conversation with that same person, you can have it where every 30 seconds they say the name, every minute, every two minutes, every three minutes, every five minutes. So I have one that's every five, every three minutes. But the cool thing about this is that it allows you to hold any printed material. So I'm giving you this paper backpack. And I know you can't read the words here, but I want you to look down at the page over here, and in a moment you're gonna hear a click. In just a moment, you're gonna hear a click. Chapter seven, Ron Hanscombe. TT started innocently enough. I was at the post office with my So mother. as she soon as it there to starts reading, you don't have to be holding it and looking at it because it's already taken the scan. So what I've done is I've double tapped the side and I've paused it. Mm -hmm. I can untap it, uh, to get the unpause. I can also rewind it and fast forward just by simply striking and you know, moving forward on the actual camera unit. That will actually go fast forward. If you swipe back, it reverses and rewinds back to the previous punctuation point. Tap it so it unpauses. It'll keep reading. Now if you put your hand out like you're making a stop symbol with your hand in front of the camera, it knows that this gesture means stop talking. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Now, if you look down at your wrist here, as if you're checking time, that whole gesture of checking time. But you have to hold your wrist up, though. You can look down as if you're checking time. The time is 12:58 p.m. Today is Tuesday, February 11th. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So all you need is a wrist. You can also now give it some voice commanded gestures or commands. So if I double tap the side now that it's not reading, if I double tap it. Tell time. The time is 12.59 p.m. Yeah, so it'll, you can also have it tell you time that way as well. And so it's pretty amazing. It can also allow you to read things in the distance as well. 
That'd be so, good for street signs because I can't see those anymore. So if you're in front of a street sign, you know it's there. So someone who has some degree of vision, you can tell if there's a street sign. Yes. So what you do is you point up your finger where the sign is, and it knows to read what's in behind your finger, and that's how it will read the street sign. You know, my, um, we have a video clip of me doing that um, on the streets of Toronto and reading a street sign. Uh, you can actually use it to read menus in a restaurant. You can also have it read the outside menu that's displayed at restaurants before you even go into the restaurant to see if you want to go in and, uh, uh, and visit this restaurant or not. You can also use it to look at the, um, it's a teller machine, what's written on the screen. You can use it to look at the computer screen, your cell phone. There is also a color ID component to it. The color ID, really simple and basic, so it's not going to give you... Fuchsia, exactly, magenta. Exactly, so it's not going to be that kind of detail. It might say dark pink, light pink, light blue, blue. That's so good blue. for someone who's blind and can't. Yeah. Exactly, to give a rough idea of what the color might be. Now the cool thing is you can go to the store, pick up a food package, and they can read it back to you. This is a North American version, so it also can read back in French and Spanish as well. It doesn't translate, but if it's uh, written in French, it will read it back in French with a French accent. If it's in Spanish, it reads back in a Spanish accent. It also can identify currency, so if you're holding 20 Canadian dollars, it'll say 20 Canadian dollars. If it's U.S., they'll say $20. If it's euros, 20 euros. If it's pesos, 20 pesos. They'll be able to say, tell me the phone numbers. So it will actually find the phone numbers and read them to you. If you're actually picking up a newspaper or another um, uh, item that has words on it, and you know specifically that you only want to read one section. So here you might be able to see that there is, um, you know, with your glasses, you pick up the headline, but you can't read the actual print. Of, of the newspaper column, and you can say start reading at Venezuela's Supreme Court. So it finds that it and picks it starts up from reading. There? Exactly, and it'll start reading from that point. And the ORCAM knows how to read newspaper columns. So when it's actually reading a newspaper, it reads column and by column of the article, not just keep going across. across. Sure, that's really impressive. That's going to be coming out with the ORCAM as well. It is what they call more like a voice guided mobility tip aid. So you'll be able to ask the ORCAM, tell me what's in front of me. So someone has very limited vision or no vision. The video clip that I saw, um, the person says, tell me what's in front of me. And so the ORCAM announces there were two doors in front, one to the left, one to the right. The person then says, guide me to the door to the left. So as she starts walking towards the right door, there is a beeping sound that keeps increasing. So it goes beep, 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 letting her know she's in the right direction and she's like Marco she's Polo. <laughs> exactly. You'll see on the video, it has two people who are seated at a table and there's an empty chair. So it says there's two people in front and an empty chair to the right. She then says, guide me to the empty chair. So that's pretty cool. That'd be perfect for my friend with RP. Yes. People have very limited vision. Um, and especially if their central vision is, is affected as well, it makes a tremendous difference. Or someone who's completely blind, um, but it's nice because you get the cues with it. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about the ORCAM is uh, somebody who might work in the government, banks, insurance companies, a student, where there's privacy uh, laws and private information, you can't necessarily be using your cell phone and the apps to take pictures of things because of the privacy issues related around that. The ORCAM has been designed that as soon as it actually reads something, you cannot retrieve it back for later use. So you are able to use it to write an exam, you know, you're not going to leave that exam room sharing the questions with other students. Or same thing, if you're working in the government, you can't take information and leave the premises with it because it doesn't allow you to retrieve that. The only thing it will allow you to retrieve is if you've actually done the facial recognition or they even have what's called product recognition. I find the facial part is really the big one that people use. Yeah, especially the starter. Yeah, so. It's giving me black mirror vibes, but it doesn't <laughs> hold the yeah, and memories, the, let's say. Yeah, and the cool thing about it is that you can easily rest it around your neck. So when you don't want to be using it, no, nope, that's why it's actually tethered. I got yeah. it on purpose. Um, so you can actually have it just dangling around your neck when you're not needing it. So it doesn't have to be always there. And now looking at you, it doesn't look like you're wearing anything different with glasses. But even this is more, um, 
what is that word, discreet than say the east side. Yeah. Even just here, if you have big hair, who's going to know? Exactly. Even still, it could just be part of the design of the frame. You got it. Did you just take the picture? Yeah. So it, it will also announce what might be in front of you, which is really, really cool. Yeah. So this is the Orcam My Eye 2.0. It's a pretty impressive device. Yeah. Excellent.